Is this why these Gen Zers and Millennials are so soft? You see, I've got a theory. Back in the day, video games didn't used to have save points. I can remember spending hours and hours. You start with three lives. You might collect a few lives on the way. You could get all the way to the final boss. But if you didn't kill the final boss, you started all the way back at the beginning of the game. Now, once you'd cried, maybe smashed the joystick up, told yourself you were never gonna play that stupid game again, gone downstairs, had something to eat, you came back to it. And you did that until you completed the game. And then, probably in the 90s, every game had save points, which meant no matter if you died, you just went back to the last save point. I mean, could you imagine playing some of those games that are out now, things like Elden Ring and things like that, without a save point? People wouldn't buy it. You just wouldn't buy it. Too difficult. Now, playing Super Mario on the Game Boy and dying over and over again taught us a lot. It taught us resilience, but it also made us become really, really good at the first five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten levels. In fact, you became so good at it that you could almost do it with your eyes closed. And now I see so many youngsters, they give up whenever they fail. It might be a sport, it might be learning a language. If they're not immediately good at something or they're struggling, they tend to give up. So I think video games are partly to blame for the soft underbelly that we've got at the minute in society.